Hello and welcome to this training video on how to add property fields within the Design of Repex tool. My name is Anna and I'll be your presenter in taking you through this tutorial today. In this video I'll take you through how to add a new property field, how to apply formatting options to the property field and how to also add a hyperlink for online payment portals. It is possible to add property fields to the design so the data held within your database is pulled through onto the layout. Information such as client name, address, bank account details, the list goes on. Within the design on the right hand side is a field list which contains a full list of standard property fields available for use. In this demonstration, because we are viewing an invoice template, the available fields relate to their own invoice. When viewing a statement, the field list will have other fields related to that. In this example, we'll be adding the client ID to the layout. There are a couple of ways to add the field. Firstly is to simply drag and drop to the space on the layout. To make formatting changes to the field, open the property grid in the bottom right hand corner, making sure you have focus on the field so that you can now select the font and size for the field. I'm now going to create a label box as to indicate what data it is to display on the layout so that it's clear in the end result. Once the label box is created, double click to get focus within and type the text needed, e.g. client ID, and also apply the same font and size to match the property field. To tidy up the design, simply move the field around to fit into the desired location. You can use the purple alignment lines as a guide. Once completed, make sure to click the save icon within the toolbar. Let's take a look now at how it looks in a print email view from within the debt page of Central Console. Within the Central Console client debt page, right click and select the print email invoice option to review the invoice layout. In the preview panel to the right, it's now showing the Client ID property field and the data pulled from the Client Details page, Client ID Attribute, along with the labelled of Client ID to the left. It is now possible to add hyperlinks to web pages for faster collection of money via online payment portals. In this example, I'll add a section within the remittance area for adding in a hyperlink. Select a new label and enter it in in the design. Adjust the size for text to be added and then double click to get focus. As I want to add different formatting to the hyperlink text, a second label needs to be created as to separate the text, otherwise the formatting will apply to everything within the one label. As I want the hyperlink to stand out, I'm going to add formatting options such as a colour and underlining. As a safety net to ensure the label is clickable, you can also use the property grid to the right and apply the web address. Click the field to first get focus, then to the right under the navigation panel, type in the address in the navigation URL line. Remembering to save your changes as you go. Now let's preview and to show how the hyperlink works via email. Right click to preview the invoice. Scroll down to see within the remittance section the text we've added. Change the output to email. Click process to activate the new Outlook window. Double click to open the PDF and scroll down to the bottom to see the new URL that is clickable. You can hover over and also click to then activate the new web page. 
To recap what we've covered in this video, we've shown how to add a new property field, how to apply formatting options to the property field, and also how to add a hyperlink for online payment portals. Thank you. Should you have any further questions or experience any issues during the process, please contact our support team for assistance on the numbers provided in front of you or email support at reckon.com. Thank you for your presence in this training video.